This is Rock Leach with Social Fire. In this video, we're going to be talking about Kelly Price and the meltdown she had at the beginning of the year where she talked negatively about the gospel music industry. But is Kelly Price covering for pedophiles? Oh, you don't want to miss this video. Now click that like button and that bell notification so you'll be notified every time we put out a new video while you prepare yourself for this video clip. And I'll come back with some commentary. Let's go. Now, earlier this year, Kelly Price was celebrating her husband's birthday and decided to go live on Instagram. I do have to say here that I've already done a video on this, but I just want to kind of catch you up so that I can bring out the point that I want to bring out. When she put the video out where she was singing happy birthday to her husband, he just seemed like he just was not into it, like he was ungrateful, like he was, uh, it, it just wasn't a good look. And so just like I watched it, I have no uh, no prior feelings about Kelly or her husband, just a video that someone sent me. Uh, as I'm looking at it, I was able to even see that, yeah, he just looked like he just wasn't into it. Now, that's me as a husband, knowing that if my wife was celebrating me, oh, no, there needs to be an attitude of gratitude. So as a husband looking at another husband do this, yeah, I knew this wasn't a good look. I was kind of wondering, uh, why would you post that, that video? Because it's not a good look for you all as a unit. Now, that's just my opinion. Now, Kelly put this video out, and then many of the subscribers and viewers started making comments, and they started calling out what I already saw. Now, when we look at this, you have to understand that Kelly got very upset. She got upset, but when she got upset, she blew up and had a meltdown because she posted something to uh, Instagram on the post. She responded to um, one, of, I, I don't know if it's a subscriber or not, but Classy Queen, uh, because what Classy Queen said was, I'm going to say, I was going, rather, I was going to say, is this Sunday's best judge gospel singing Kelly Price? Foo! Lord deliver. Y'all, y'all excuse that sound effect. <laughs> but I want to go further with this. Kelly's response is what I really want to take a look at. Now, I do want to uh, let you know, just side note here, this post uh, was taken down by Meta off of Instagram. But, you know, whenever somebody puts something out there as inflammatory as Kelly did, somebody screenshot it and it's all over Twitter. So I want to go back to this. She said, yes, Lord, deliver us from pastors. Uh, from pastor holes and pedophiles. Now, I have a problem with that last word, and I, but I have a problem with all of it, but especially that last word because it involves children. Deliver us from self-righteous congregants who send their money to liars and pimps in plain sight. Then come deliver me. Kelly, you out of order for this. You out of pocket for this. Then she goes on to say, the nerve you have. I was, and here's what I want to get to right here. I was the only artist judge. Now, I want y'all to notice she didn't say allegedly. I was the only artist judge on Sunday's best that wasn't effing someone else's spouse. Now, I'm not going to use the profanity, but y'all know what I'm talking about. Uh, fornicating or messing with kids and boys but you have smoke for me. Okay, let's look at this here. So, Kelly, I understand that you're upset. And I understand that you may not be thinking clearly, but you just said you was the only one. You didn't say allegedly. You didn't say possibly. You didn't put a question mark at the end of your statement like you're making a question. You stated this, and you said that you was the only one not doing these things. Now, I, I get I get it to a lot of degrees that you're upset, but look at what you're saying. And I want y'all as subscribers, jump down in the comments. If you're not a subscriber, go ahead and subscribe, but jump down in the comments. I want to hear what you all think on this. She's actually calling people out. Now, it's no problem to call people out, but the problem that I have is when people are doing adultery, you know, usually that's a scandalous thing. Yeah, and that, that is not a good thing. I do want you all to understand that. But I have a problem if you know of people who are molesting or touching children inappropriately and are pedophiles and not calling them out. Now, that's a problem. That there is a problem because there's innocence being taken from children. Kelly, I know you, was, you were upset and you were talking about the cover-up, but what are you covering up? Do you know actual pedophiles messing with children? 
And if you do, you need to say something, Kelly Price. If you know of pedophiles messing with children, if there are people in Sunday's best crew cast, any of the judges that are doing that, they need to be brought out, Kelly. And if you don't know, you need to apologize for these uh, inflammatory statements, uh, not true statements. You need to apologize for them if it's not true, because we can go back through a lot of things and, and look at a lot of things. There have been a lot of judges on uh, Sunday's Best. She could be talking about any of them. B.B. Winans, C.C. Winans, Erica Campbell, Tina Campbell, Donna McClurkin, Yolanda Adams, Kim Burrell, Kiara Seard, you, Jonathan McReynolds, and Kirk Franklin hosted. The, there have been a lot of hosts on here uh, not host, but there have been a lot of judges on here. Not only that, but the contestants. Kelly, who are you talking about? And I believe that we need answers. Now, listen, I don't, and I think this is the problem when people make blanket statements or they paint with a broad brush. They say things that cover so many people. I just believe that Kelly was upset because people uh, was coming at her husband. And it was what it was. I think she still got the video on her IG. Go by there and take a look at it. But I wanted to bring this back. Is Kelly Price covering for pedophiles? I just went through that statement that she made that was released. But is she covering for pedophiles? I don't know. But it looks like it's something going on here because there are two or three things that can happen. Kelly, if it's going on, you need to report that to the authorities. And if it's not, you need to go ahead and repent for what you just did. Now, let's go ahead and put it at that. But I want to know what you think about this. Jump down in the comments section and let's talk about what Kelly Price said. And is she covering for pedophiles? And if she knows someone that's messing with little boys and kids, as she said, should she report them? Let's talk about it. Get in the comments. Let's go.